Well, look at the visitor I have here this morning. Uh, what we're looking at here is a black racer. And I just came up here to the water hose to wash my boots off, and there he is. And he's staying perfectly still. Uh, he's hoping I don't see him. And these things can really run quick, too. I mean, they are really fast. It's real slender. This is kind of a cool morning. It's like in the upper 70s, especially for August. Let's see how close he'll let me get to him. He'll probably dart. Let's see what he does. Yeah, he's got the tongue rolling. He's trying to sniff me. Now these are good to have around your house. Don't don't kill them. There he goes. Look at him. Yeah, see, they'll run from you. And that's uh, even even water moccasins would do that too. Look how quick he got away. He just burrowed right on through. So you'd never know he was there. Yeah, I say about 60% of the time, uh, water moccasins will run like that as well. Uh, sometimes they'll just stay there and, and gape their mouth open at you. Uh, just know that none of these snakes want to bite you. They really don't. Uh, they just want to be left alone. And so become familiar with all the different ones that are non-venomous. Uh, that black racer being one of them. Uh, another common snake you're probably going to find around the house is the, uh, the rat snake. They're gray in color. Uh, you know, maybe got a few minutes, go online and uh, look at the photographs of uh, the rat snake and the other uh, non venomous ones we have around here, including the ribbon snake or garter snake. The, most of the snakes you're going to find around the house, uh, most of them are not going to be venomous. And so uh, there's actually a book you can purchase too online. It has the snakes of Alabama, and that can be pretty informative as well. So anyway, uh, I'm going to leave this guy alone. Let him, hopefully that's his home right there. I kind of think it's cool he's here.